Hi everybody. Um, I, I don't really have this video all like planned out, stripped out, scripted out. Dread start to this channel. Um, I haven't really introduced myself. My name's Jackie. I am a full-time freelance writer. Have been since 2000, oh god, how old am I now? 13? So, it's been a hot minute. And, uh, I do have a channel that's mainly just talking about writing and copywriting, which is what I do. And I just thought I would make a side channel because I am a uh, passion planner, bullet journaler, nerd. And I thought I would talk about strategies that I use to basically manage my entire freelance life and do it well. I was going to put it all on like, the main channel, but I don't know how many people care at all about um, my, my nerdy planning hobby and this would quickly become a thing. So. Anyway, let's, uh, and I also follow a lot of channels that are kind of like, oh, plan with me, like, and then each month, and then kind of just want in on it so bad. Keep in mind, um, I am a very minimalist planner. Okay, well, mm, disclaimer, I use a lot of notebooks, a lot, but... I have no art skills, so my bullet journaling is very minimal and very basic. Cool. If that's your thing. I think, you know, what keeps a lot of people out of the bullet journal world is that sometimes they are so... Sorry, my chair is annoying. Over the top? Not over the top, but people don't have art skills, so then they think they can't bullet journal or plan or, like, use a passion planner. And that's just not true, and I kind of just want to talk about it. And that's what this channel is going to be. Cool. So, welcome. Hello. Let me, first of all, show you... I also have like 30 different Moleskine notebooks like right there, but I don't use them actively. They're very specific, kind of like fitness and gardening and like very specific to the topic, but these are the ones I use on a regular basis, which is way too much for most people. Keep in mind, I run a company, I have a lot of side hustles, I do a lot of things, so uh, having five main notebooks is, ooh, actually six. Uh, having six notebooks is not necessary for any human being alive out there. You could easily condense this into one main notebook. But I thought we would talk about this year. It's a. It's been a. Uh, how do I nicely say it's been a dumpster fire of a year? Um, not only the shutdown. You know, lots of things that we've all learned about. Oh, this chair. I'm gonna yeet it out of my <laughs> porch. Um. It's been a year. It's been a year for a lot of us, you know? I mean, you know, we've all learned some great stuff about our lives and how important health is and all these good things. But wow, planning has been hilarious. Like going back into my, this little guy is my main bullet journal. And I do it very according to the creator's kind of style. Let me show you, you know, um, this is a newer one I think is going to be released. I got this to like test out. Hopefully I can show this. I'm so sorry if not. You know, I have the index. I haven't completely filled it out yet. Um, mainly because I have the passion planners which kind of takes over. This journal will probably last me like two or three years potentially. That's maybe. We'll see. Um, you know, each month broken down and like events that are happening. And it's like I had all these like 2020 goals and then I'm looking at them like so let's repivot so here's how I'm approaching August this year one I did a massive brain dump I use Trello usually a lot for like pure brain dumps or things just like blank giant sheets of like paper to like really just like brain dump it all out as you can see um and just brain dump everything like everything that is going on if you read the bullet journal book he talks about how important it is to kind of get out everything like the things that you're currently working on things that you should be working on and like what you want to be working on those three categories that you can put into any kind of like paper bullet like brain dump spread to kind of get everything rattling around out of your brain. I think that's the most essential part, uh, you know, um, getting things done, David Allen, all of, all of the big 
productivity people talked about how important it is to get things out of your brain and onto paper because then you can or at least into like a system something so you can organize your thoughts um once i have everything kind of like out of my brain i then sort it by okay what is the most important thing that i need to do period um what is absolutely essential what is the top goal above all that I need to hit. You know, I take everything, that's why I like Trello, because you can drag and drop cards, and I organize everything into like priority. I'm like, okay, between these two, okay, this one's more important, it goes up. Okay, between like this one and this new one, which one's more important? Okay, this one stays. You know, and just do that through the whole entire list until I have everything in like top priority to bottom priority order now of course these are always just like my optimism this is my optimism for the month of like how this is gonna happen and then there's like the reality of what's going to happen this month but right now personally for me August is a big um, setting things up business work wise so then all of the holiday season goes well and all the campaigns are ready because not only do I have to do marketing campaigns for the holiday season for my own business. I also have all of my clients who are usually selling something like Black Friday deals, end of the year deals, like all of this just needs to be automated and ready and that starts now. So, I have those mapped out. And then, um, but I've really tried to work on recently fitting in, in my top priorities, not just work, which is why I really, really love um, passion planner and have become wildly obsessed with it because it kind of, it's let me show you if you don't have one it's designed these are the dailies and as you can see it's designed for like okay what are my what's my game changer goal and what are the tasks and I knew this logically because I've read so many productivity books that like how important that is to focus on but I think personally that's one of the biggest things I've struggled with for years was actually really like I wake up every day and then I, I have like 13 client emails and just like pure stress in my inbox and I'm like okay and then like every day is like client work you know and then before you know it you wake up and you're 31 and you're like oh no and like realizing that all of these other side projects and things you wanted to get done didn't get done so I'm nipping that in the bud now thank you passion planner so today's focus my game changer goal and then it has instead of work it has your personal is your next to-do list which has been huge for me I can't even believe how much I knew this logically and failed to kind of like implement it basically um pure night pure just wow just a lot of um you know and my handwriting is absolutely horrendous but we'll just show it anyway um where is it okay project main priority and then I take all those main priorities at least the top like five to ten and filter them I do it in Trello but you could easily do it you know like the passion planner or in a bullet journal has like all of the blank pages in the back that you can kind of filter this out but I do like week by week like okay I don't try and map out like everything right now on my list is actually almost a hundred things I would like to get done in August which hello is like obviously not going to happen unless I decide to like never sleep again and develop a like energy drink addiction but not going to happen so I just mainly went through the list and said like okay if only like five things can get done this month which five of them do they have to be between everything so I picked like a work task personal um, you know business my own business client kind of like everything that needed to be done no matter what I needed to get to the end of this month and go like okay and not just things that maintain my life like there's certain things that like I focus on goals and projects that would specifically grow each of those areas not just like okay like for example doing the dishes in my life is essential I have to or else my apartment becomes disgusting I have a tiny space I live in a downtown area I don't have much like one day of no dishes and like wow chaos right but is doing the dishes like going to move my life forward no so 
in terms of like, you know, like big overarching growth, those big goals, I want to like be on my deathbed and be like, okay, I hit those. That's great. Um, no, they need to get done, but I'm not scheduling them in first. That's all. If I have to do my dishes at like 9 p.m. at night because I needed the rest of the day to focus on those top priorities and those top goals and what really matters, um, because I have been in business for so long and so much of my time was spent on like putting out client fires and um just general like main like updating my social media like yeah it matters but like for example when you run your own business like creating a course creating a book um creating an email funnel like those things and the roi that those bring like even with your house you know one thing i'm really focusing on this month is like decluttering like then I don't have to clean so much, right? Like I don't have to spend all this time cleaning stuff because I own less, right? So all of that. Um, so that's kind of what I'm doing. Um, in case you are curious about my notebook breakdown, that's insane. This is my passion planner daily, which is uh, the actual daily breakdown. Let me show you some days. I've got some days filled out. I have no art skills, so like keep that in mind. It is very, here's my like eight week KonMari, which is the Marie Kondo is doing like a free like eight week challenge on her like Instagram and I was like, I need that right now. Um, yeah, I mean my spreads are really, really, you know, basic. And I know a lot of people do like the top down look at their planners, but I don't think mine is that interesting to look at. You know, I've got like a whole, I reviewed July and then planned August in here. So my daily, this is my bread and butter. I just actually got this only like a few weeks ago so I'm really still like learning it and trying it out love it um my bullet journal which is my basic the breakdowns of my days and my to do's and doing super basic old school traditional bullet journaling um you know the month ahead which I'm still filling out for August you know something I do I do want to make cuter spreads just eventually at some point to make them like fun and make them adorable like some people do but I don't we'll see how that goes you know a lot of them are like okay cool but I was trying the Matt Radland like 10 block thing that he does but that's pretty much it so um so bullet journal traditional this is my big baby for my this is my big passion planner, which is all of everything that matters to my life in here. I obviously got, I got it late in the year. I didn't get it at the start of the year. <laughs> finally, finally took the bull, ate the bullet and like, you know, and just do a lot of like time blocking with this thing. This is my all everything kind of master plan of my life. You know, like the game changer goal. Um, absolutely obsessed with these planners they are amazing and this is where I mean obviously July was like the worst month of my life as you can see just mentally spiritually <laughs> like you know it's been a year so that's why I'm so passionate about like all just being good and planning it out so that's pretty much it I don't know how interesting any of that is oh this one sorry uh let me just finish that up this one I use for my ideal schedule every week I go in and I put like okay how would I like this week to look right and it's just a smaller one and it's just like okay I schedule in my fitness I schedule in walking my dog I schedule in going to my pool my workouts client things that are you know I schedule in when I would like my cutoff times to be at 8 30 because I notoriously will work until like two three in the morning if I am so inclined and have the freedom to do such a thing let me just keep track on time I have a client call in a little bit uh yeah okay doing all right so that's pretty much it um ideal schedule so then when I'm like going throughout my day I can look at these two side by side and all like okay a client wants to schedule in but like that is my fitness time you know just kind of 
And then something I do also at the end of the week, I go back and I look like, did I follow the schedule that I really wanted? And like, why not? What happened? Where am I missing? I'm really just trying hard to work on work-life balance this year. I finally don't work weekends, which is huge for me. I used to always work weekends, notoriously late until like one or two in the morning, you know, and I didn't have to. <laughs> Anyone out there who's like a freelancer or like, I don't know what kind of work you do, but you don't have to do that. You don't have to torture yourself. So, um, so ideal schedule, of course you do not need this many planners. Sometimes passion planner, just like I needed the daily one and then they were giving these ones away for free just to like get rid of them. It's like, I only got it halfway through the year. So obviously like most of it's blank. I'll find a way to use that though, believe me. But this is my self care, um, passion planner where I keep track of like, notes and like things that I'm thinking about and things that's stressing me out and like my stretching routine just to really focus on um taking care of myself this year uh and it's pretty <laughs> so sold and then the last one this one was my first bullet journal when I really decided to get started in bullet journaling and as you can see, it's a whole bunch of, um, ooh, wow, white balance. It's a whole bunch of the months. Um, and this is when I really started to have fun with it. I just discovered bullet journaling and I was so hyped. And I did a lot of fun. Keep in mind, I have absolutely no art skills. Um, you know, I started doing like a book to read tracker. I like things I wanted to buy for that Christmas tracker um tv shows i'm watching and how far i am on the seasons like this is where i really started to have fun and like really kind of dive into the bullet journal and this is where i like test ideas and things that i want to see like like one i really started to up was like okay me learning french and duolingo like the stories that i go through and then like each lesson as i blaze through it you know cute things but as of right now um which this is going to look insane, but this is how my brain works. This is a color tracker I learned from, I'll put a link to the video down below. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. These are just challenges I'm doing. This is my cleaning schedule. And then these are, when they're all filled out, they'll kind of look like this. And each symbol represents a day in your life. So here's like, okay, here's what I planned to do that day did I get those top three things done? And then here's extra tasks that I did in the day. And obviously if you can see like, okay, I missed a whole bunch of my top priorities this day. And also I did not get as much done here. And basically you go through like each area of your life, like work, personal, personal development, client work, goals, projects, and then and this looks crazy. I'll put the, his video down below. He explains it much more than me. But, and then you kind of color it in on like what you worked on that <clears throat> during that day. Um, that was May, obviously the pandemic hit. And, uh, and I just really liked that you can kind of look back and go like, oh wait, no, that one was April when everything had just hit. Yeah, no wonder there's like no purple. And then May where also work was hit a little bit hard. And I focused on a lot of like, personal tasks because I can love that I can go back and look like okay this month was really red so I focused a lot of time on my personal life and then July was just a mess and forget July that's delete and forget so we'll see how August looks but um it's one of the cutest spreads that I really like it's really fun to kind of do it it makes me feel artsy because i have no art skills so that's pretty much it that is my insane schedule productivity plan thank you for watching more videos to come maybe i'll do like a whole i'm trying to figure out like you know i, I don't think anyone's gonna see this video for a long time it's probably gonna take a while to like build up any kind of viewership but um you know if you do stumble across this if you have any recommendations for things that you want to see etc etc let me know Cool. Thank you for watching.